What's up, beautiful people? Welcome back to another episode of Yarns with Mans. Today we are going to be talking about faking it until you make it, or fake it until you make it. And I was going through, I was going for my morning walk this morning. I was listening to a nice podcast from Heinz, and I can't remember exactly what he said, but he said something that made me think of this topic, and it made me think back to about a year ago. It made me think about the kind of person I was a year ago and the things I was doing a year ago, and it was it was relatively similar to the things I'm doing now, but. There's a big difference between um, the person I was a year ago and the person I am today. And I've got this quote, and it's not my quote, but I, I say it often. And the quote is, um, I'm not the same person I was a year ago, and that brings me so much peace. And I resonate with that a lot because I feel like I'm, in a way, a completely different person to what I was last year. And one of those reasons that I feel like I'm a different person, and I mean in a good way as well, is because... I have always had that kind of, well, I haven't always, but one of my high school coaches when I was younger told me about fake it until you make it. And so that was kind of programmed into my mind, fake it until you make it. But uh, Adi Savia, he's a all black hurricane. He's got his own clothing line as well called Adi Savia Clothing. And on one of his pieces of clothing, it says face it until you make it. And that's exactly what I believe as well. So the title of this podcast is actually face it until you make it. And at the start, I mentioned fake it until you make it because that, that's what I was taught all along was well not taught but told um was to fake it in, until you make it meaning you know just fake it and then eventually you'll make it there or make it to where you want to be but i believe it's so important to actually face it until you make it and where i'm going with this is i'm not the person i was a year ago because i faced everything and and still facing the things that um need to be worked on and and facing my insecurities and facing my struggles and all the things that we might sweep under the rug or close the door on I think those are the most important things that we actually have to face and I feel like my life has gotten so much better or um, for lack of a better word better um, because you know I finally started to face the things that were bringing me unhappiness bringing me um, you know causing relationships in my life to come to an end or you know um, friendships ending and stuff like that so um, I really I, I believe that when we face our fears or face um, our insecurities or face whatever it is we need to work on, then that's when we can truly live, um, you know, become the best version of ourselves. And um, an example of me facing it till I make it, and this is not a this is not a podcast or an episode to talk about how much I've grown over the last couple of years, um, although I am proud of myself for that. It's more so an episode to talk about how important it is and, and the growth that I have had over the last year was actually on the back of facing facing it. And so one of the ways I faced what I needed to work on and the things I need to work on is by um, getting counseling. So it was about maybe 11 and a half months ago, so just about a year ago when I first started getting counseling and I had a lot of things on my mind. Um, I really, seriously, if you're watching this right now and you're new here, um, I did all this stuff last year. I did the self-development stuff. I would wake up and meditate. I would read books. But inside I had a lot of hurt and I still am I'm, I'm, I still am unpacking um, those insecurities and those childhood traumas and stuff like that. But that's the that's the cool thing about it is that I'm actually unpacking that stuff. And so a year ago, maybe I didn't want to accept that. I didn't want to accept the person that I was. But one of the ways I accepted it and faced it was by taking myself to counseling. So um, I enrolled myself. I paid for myself. I took myself and I cried many tears. I remember the first session I went to counseling and it was so hard to 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 face it because you know when you talk about all the things that you don't like about yourself or the things that you know the toxic traits that you have when you talk about them openly that can be quite hard because um, you know you're being vulnerable you're putting yourself out there to a stranger but I think um, that was a big part of my growth it was a huge part of my growth I only went to counseling twice I just really needed to get a lot of things off my chest and I felt like that really it's helping me make it I guess by facing all those things and talking about them openly and not being ignorant to them, accepting that I am this way because I am this way. Maybe it's because of um, nature or because of nurture or any of those things. And so um, I'm not the same person I was back then because I took myself to counseling. I did the all the um, deep inner work, the shadow work, and I feel like I'm truly living by my values. And, and if I'm not fully there yet, I'm you know I'm on that right path. And so um, there's a line in the matrix that says there's a difference between knowing the path and walking the path. And I feel like I knew the path. I knew the path I wanted to walk, but I wasn't ready to. I wasn't ready to face everything 
that was required to walk that path. And so I feel like I'm, when they say there's a difference between walking the path and knowing the path, I feel like I'm walking the path right now. And I might just be on the first step. I might be on the first, um, you know, the first meter of the of the path. But hey, I'm on the path. And um, that a lot of that reason that I'm on that path is because I faced and I am facing, I continue to face the things that need to be worked on. And a couple, of episodes, a couple of episodes ago, I talked about my big thing this year was to embrace authenticity and to show up and be more of my authentic self. And I believe that by stepping into your truth and by, and I'm going to talk about that in another episode too, I've got some notes down for stepping into your truth, but um, I believe that when you, when you face your fears and, and face your insecurities and the things that need to be worked on, the toxic traits, that's when you can step in and be your authentic self. And so by facing my fears and by facing my insecurities and all of that stuff, I feel like the universe has been a little bit kinder to me the last few months because, as I said, I'd been doing this work, I'd been doing all the the self-development stuff, but also inside and, you know, behind closed doors, I wasn't living up to my true authentic self. And so now that I believe that um, every day it's a work on, it's a constant work on, it's it's also, it takes a lot of self-reminders to, and you have to ask yourself questions, you know, like, is this, um, am I embracing my authentic self and stuff like that, but... I feel like since I've been doing that and since I've been on this path, the universe has been a little bit kinder to me and a little bit more kinder because the universe is always kind, but I feel like it's like, you know, the energy you put out is the energy you get back. So putting putting in all this effort um, into into becoming the best possible version of myself. And I posted something on my Instagram yesterday along these lines and it said, in order to love who you are, you can't hate the experiences that shaped you. And I resonate with this a lot because, you know, when I talk about facing my facing all my toxic traits or my insecurities and my fears, I often didn't want to accept that those people were once me. You know that that people. Well, I mean that person is inside me. You know all the all the bad things I've ever done. Um, but you can't you can't be ignorant to that. You have to accept. You know acceptance has been a big word on my journey. Acceptance and forgiveness because you have to forgive yourself for not knowing any better, and you have to accept that that might have just been you during that time so you can't hate the experiences that have shaped you if I didn't go through that stuff last year if I didn't put myself through counseling if I didn't do that deep inner work and embrace vulnerability and show up and pay that money to go to counseling and uh, face everything that it was that I was trying to sweep under the rug um, then I wouldn't be here today and I wouldn't be sharing these experiences so in order to love who you are you can't hate the experiences that shaped you and on that as well, people will have that. People will have their minds made up about the people. Um, they will have their own idea about who they think you are or who you should be. And so, people that knew me a year ago, they might think I'm still that person. But um, that's the same with anyone. I might, I might have made a judgment about someone a year ago, and I have done this before. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not a perfect human. I've judged people before. I have. Um, it's a, as I said before, it's a constant reminder to um, realize that when I'm point. When I point the finger, there's three fingers pointing back. So, um, But where I was going with that was I've judged people before and thought I had my mind made up about people and then realized that you know people can change and people can become better versions of themselves. And so um, I feel like that's the, that's the good thing about facing it is that you can always change. You can always make the positive changes that you need to in life. And I feel like this is uh, kind of an episode where I'm talking about how much growth I've made over the last year. And it might be because, as I said, um, I am proud of myself and I feel like you have to be your own biggest fan. But the reason for this episode was more so to share that when we sweep things under the rug, when we when we try and be ignorant to healing, and I've heard that word used by plant-based Marty before, you can't be ignorant to healing if you if you try and say that there's nothing left to heal or, you know, I'm, I'm all fixed, then... Um, I guess you're gonna that your mind's gonna be made up that there is nothing left to fix. But I've accepted that you know I had a lot of a lot of toxic cycles in my life, and I'm still trying to plug away at them, trying to trying to heal and trying to grow every day. So it's definitely a work on. It's a constant work on. And I found that you know faking it till you make it is not the way I want to live. And maybe maybe the way that some people want to live. I'm not going to advise people to live how um, in my image, but um, faking it. Faking it till you make it is not the way that I enjoy living. And I realize that facing it till you make it is the is what brings me fulfillment because in order for me to be my best um, authentic self and become the best possible version of myself, I need to accept everything that's happened and learn from it and grow and understand that 
yeah, things don't get better by sweeping them under the rug. They get better by acknowledging them and accepting them and growing from there. And it's important to remember to control what you can control. We can't control everything. We can't control the opinions of others or the ideas that people have made up about us, but we can control um, our own healing and our own journey. So I really hope you can take something away from this episode. I really hope this can provide you some value and give you a bit of ins- better insight into how um, yeah, you can face it yourself as well. And maybe have a little bit of a look in the mirror and ask it what is it that you need to face. And to end, if anyone was second guessing or sitting on the fence about uh, whether or not to see a therapist or a counsellor, I would highly recommend seeing a counsellor or a therapist if you've got some things on your mind because this has been a big part of my journey, um, talking about it openly and getting some things off my chest and as I said, accepting it and yeah, speaking about it openly. So once again, I hope you got something out of this, and I hope you got something out of this episode and I really appreciate all the support and the love and I appreciate the universe too for having my back and um, yeah, from me and the team, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace and love.